Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a no contact love reading for those of you who are currently in a no contact situation with your person. I'm going to see what their current feelings are for you, what do they currently want with you, and what actions will they take next towards you. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, so let's see your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. All right, for those of you who are in a, currently in a no contact situation with your person, spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current feelings for cancer? What are this person's current feelings for cancer, please? All right, here we go. So in their current feelings, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Hermit card. We also have the Ten of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Showing up as feminine energy doesn't have to be a female, could be a male. They do have a lot of feminine energy, though. I feel like this is someone who it's like it almost looks like they're missing you. They're definitely they're definitely thinking about you and like reminiscing over you. They want to talk to you. They want to contact you. But there's fear, and I want to take a look at that. We do have the Ten of Swords here, which can represent there was a really bad breakup or, or a really bad separation between the two of you. At least according to them, from their eyes, from their perspective, things kind of ended on, on bad terms between the two of you. I'm getting a lot of like deep insecurities with this person, with the Hermit card. Um, I do feel like this person has been keeping themselves isolated. It doesn't look like they've been wanting to see anyone or hear from anyone. It almost feels like they just wanna be left alone. They're feeling pretty sad and, feel, and feeling pretty depressed. They are very focused on their work, on their career, their finances with the Nine of Pentacles, but they feel lonely and they feel empty and they can't stop thinking about you. Page of Wands is here. They definitely want to reach out to you. Oh, they're looking at you as the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Look at that. Queen of Wands is here. That's how they're viewing you. So for some of you, I'm getting that this person is a little bit scared that you might be angry at them or upset with them, that you might not want to do any, that you might not want any, sorry, you might not want to do anything with them. Hmm. Or have anything with them. You might not want to hear from them. I don't know if that's true. That's their perspective. That's what they're thinking. They think that you're just annoyed with them, irritated with them, upset with them. And that's, that's mainly what's making them feel scared to reach out to you. So it kind of looks like you're the one who, who they feel um, initiated this ending, like you're the one who decided to end things with them or decided to, to cut them off. 
and no longer deal with them anymore? I'm definitely getting that they miss you, though. There's a strong energy of them missing you. And wishing things could be different. But I'm also getting an energy of guilt also connected to them. So let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, we also have Gemini here on the board, on the table. And we also have fire sign energy. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at this hermit energy. What well, can you tell me about the hermit card, Spirit, in regards to their current feelings for cancer? Tell me about the hermit card. I'm, I'm definitely getting guilt in their energy. Yeah, there, there is an energy of them feeling like they need to apologize to you. Clarify the Hermit and their current feelings for Cancer. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, we have a true pair here. Queen and King of Pentacles. True match. Oh, I see. So there could have been a third party situation here. For some of you, that is what caused the breakup. What else can you tell me about the Hermit and their current feelings for Cancer? We also have Page of Pentacles here, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like they owe you an apology. Yeah, they feel like they ruined, uh, they ruined what could have been a really successful relationship, a really stable relationship with you. They feel like this relationship had a lot of potential to grow and to expand and to be um, very stable and fulfilling. And they feel like they ruined, they ruined the growth of the relationship with you. They stopped the growth. So it does look like they're taking responsibility here, Cancer. At least to themselves, they are. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Okay. I want to take a little bit more look at that page of pentacles. Let me see that apology a little bit more. Tell me about this apology spirit with the page of pentacles. What else can you tell me about that energy? And their current feelings for cancer. Why the page of pentacles? Uh, we do have the Four of Cups here. For some of you, this person thought the grass was greener, greener on the other side. They were keeping themselves open to other options. They didn't, you know, embrace this opportunity with you when they had the chance because, you know, they thought they needed to keep their options open. And now they're regretting it. Now they're regretting it. Now they want to talk to you. Now they want to reach out to you and contact you. But they're scared that you might be very pissed off at them or angry at them. And that you don't want anything to do with them. Yeah. So they are feeling pretty foolish and feel, feeling pretty embarrassed with themselves at this time. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like they took a passive approach to this relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. They took a passive approach. They didn't, um, you know, like I said, they didn't uh, take charge. They didn't help the relationship move forward. They just kind of um, took a layback um, position. 
Mm. So they slept on you, basically. They slept on you. They slept on this opportunity with you. Hmm. All right, let me look at this uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles spirit. I feel like this is where the, the switch is happening. In their mentality. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. And their current feelings for Cancer. Um, Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, High Priestess, Five of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's just... The reason why they're switching their mentality is is because they've had time to think. That's because that's what I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out what caused this person to switch their perspective. Um, nothing. It's just really they had they've had some time to really think, you know, and really analyze and reflect on 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 everything they've done and all the all the decisions they've made and you know how they treated you and you know all. The relationship they had with you and yeah that it's it's like they're awakening they're awakening to the truth they're awakening to the truth that you know you're someone who someone who's very valuable to them someone who they care care about someone who they want to be with they just weren't realizing that at the moment when you two were together. It's almost like they had this narrative, the uh, pre-programmed narrative in their mind that they developed from past experiences that have nothing to do with you. And it's almost like now they're waking up to the truth that you're not you're nothing like the people that they've dealt with you're you're a whole different human being you're a whole different person yeah exactly especially with the 4 of cups i feel like this person was secretly comparing you to others and um telling themselves that you were the same just that you were the same person as, as everyone else they've dealt with, but they're realizing now that you're nothing like anyone that, they, that they've dealt with. You're completely different, and it, it's not fair for them to put you, put you in the same box as everyone else. And that's not something that you deserve. Yeah. That's why they. That's why they're feeling guilty now. They realize that you didn't deserve to be put in the same box as everyone else. So they are in this energy of wanting to apologize and wanting to reach out. Okay. Um, but yeah, they are holding back because of fear. So fear of your reaction. All right. Let's see what they want with you. <clears throat> all right here we go spirit angels and guys please show me what does this person want with cancer currently what is this person currently wanting with cancer this person want with cancer so in regards to what they want we have the chariot card we also have the three of cups and we also have the eight of wands okay I'm getting a specific message that they want to see you in person whenever I have whenever I get the chariot card. This is like the energy of someone who wants to like visit you and see you face to face. 
Yeah, and we have the Three of Cups, which is all about a reunion. They want to reunite with you face to face, and they want to communicate with you with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, what do, what do they want to communicate, Spirit? Let's take a look at that. Sorry. Oh, oh, I see. At the bottom of the deck, look at what we have here. We have the Two of Cups. So they want to they want to communicate that they have feelings for you and that they they want a relationship with you, they want to be with you. They want to work work things out with you. They want they want to establish a true emotional connection with you. They also want to communicate that they're not interested in anybody else. With the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Yeah, they don't want to be with anybody else. That you're the one for them. And you're the one who they want to dedicate all of their energy to. All of their time and energy to. That's what they want to communicate. Interesting. Anything else? Spirit? Uh, connected to the Eight of Wands? Okay. Ooh, okay. Nine of Pentacles to the Star to the Nine of Swords. So they're, re they're really hopeful with the Star card that you two that you two can work things out, that that you'll you'll be open and willing to give them a, a second chance or another chance. They see themselves having a future with you with the star card, and they feel like this is destiny. They feel like you two are soulmates and they feel like you two are destined to be together. And they're just hoping that you feel the same way. And that you can forgive them with the Nine of Swords for whatever they put you through or whatever they did to you. Um, because they are feeling really guilty about it. They feel like they've received um, a, a rude awakening. They feel like they've experienced a, a rude awakening. They thought the grass was greener on the other side and now they now they realize that it's not. And they're just hoping it's not too late. It's not too late for you to it's not too late to it's not too late to get back together with you. And have another chance with you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, that's everything. I'm definitely feeling a lot of, like, desperation in their energy. There is desperation here. This person's feeling really anxious and nervous and, and desperate, you know, desperate to move things forward with you. Desperate to, to regain... Um, that connection with you, uh, regain trust with you. Yeah, they, they're they convinced at this moment, they're convinced that you're the one for them and that you don't, they don't want, they're not interested in anybody else. They're not interested in exploring any other options. Um, they just want to be very devoted to you. They feel like they've learned their lesson with the star card. They feel like they've learned their lesson. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going to happen moving forward. Let's take a look at that. Uh, let me use a different deck. 
Let's use this one. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what's going to happen between Cancer and this person moving forward. What's going to happen between Cancer and this person moving forward? All right, moving forward, we do have the Two of Pentacles here. Hmm. We also have the Six of Swords, and we also have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Cups to the Ten of Wands. And, well, what do you know? We have the Hierophant here. All right, let's get three more cards. What's going to happen between Cancer and this person moving forward? We have the Five of Pentacles to the Temperance card, and we also have, wow, the world. Look at that, Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and the Three of Wands, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. Boy, this person has gone through quite the transformation. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, King of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. They definitely have to prove themselves to you. You are showing up as the Queen of Swords here, Cancer, so I don't feel like you're going to take them back so easily. It does look like you're guarded here with the Seven of Wands um, next to your energy, so you're definitely keeping up that wall between you and this person until you feel like you can completely trust them they're aware of that four of pentacles to the seven of pentacles they're aware of that and they definitely want to work on recuperating um your trust king of swords four of pentacles seven of pentacles they definitely plan on putting in the work to regain your trust with the four of wands and the ace of cups because they know that you're the one for them and they know that they're never going to find anyone else that's better than you and they ultimately want to establish a a um a commitment with you with the four of wands mm -hmm. If this person was a player, then I'm definitely getting an energy of I don't want to be I don't want to be a player anymore. I don't want to be a player anymore. I'm ready I'm ready to level up with the emperor. Hmm. Let's see. 6 of cups, 3 of wands, 4 of swords, 10 of cups. Yeah, it's you see this distance here. Look at this distance. Three of Swords, uh, Three of Wands, and the Four of Swords. This is like an energy of distance, and it's right in the middle of the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups, which means that it's a it's going to be a process. You know, it's not it's not impossible to reach this happily ever after. It's not impossible. It's there. The opportunity is there, but it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a process, you know? It's not going to um, happen overnight. Again, it does look like a lot of work needs to be done here. If you're interested, Cancer, because if you're not interested, then, you know, then don't, then don't, go, don't go for it. But... I feel like some of you might be interested in giving this a chance, but it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a little bit of a journey, a little bit of a process um, until you two can um, re rebuild that trust. I feel like that's really what was broken here. It feels like because we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and those two energies are all about trust. Okay, two of pentacles, six of swords, nine of pentacles. 
Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, it is saying here that moving forward, this person um, is going to get their act together. They Because they feel like they learned a really big lesson here with the Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. Um, they made a lot of mistakes within this relationship with you. And they've, they've been suffering a lot of consequences because of it. It kind of looks like karma hit this person really badly. I'm I'm kind of getting that energy. They got they got struck by karma in the worst way. And the thing is that they do they are in this energy of I learned my lesson, I'm ready to get my act together, I'm ready to transform myself and and start a and start a whole new chapter in my life. And also I want to start a whole new chapter with cancer. Temperance and the world card. Yeah, this person is inspired to, to create a better life for themselves and to also create a better relationship with you. They feel re very inspired and very motivated thanks to all of these um, hardships that they feel like they went through um, previously. In, while you two broke apart or separated, um, they did go through a lot of hardship. So yeah, they, they've, they've gained a brand new perspective of, of what they want and of the future that they want to create for themselves. And it does look like they're willing to put in the work to, to regain your trust, ultimately. And 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 create that happily ever after that they want to have with you if you're open to that cancer okay that's what i see happening here moving forward so cancer i hope this reading helped in some way and i hope it resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys take care